In this video of glad to teach we are going to learn the easy cal trick to easily solve the cubic equations. So once you know this trick you can easily solve the cubic equations in just few seconds. So first you please give it a try. You have 10 seconds. Start. Your time is over. So now I'll do it. Factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Now since the sum of the factors is 7, therefore we can cancel out 8 as 8 is itself greater than 7. So 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So these are the factors. Just change the signs and you have solved this cubic equation. The three solutions of this cubic equation are x equal to minus 1, x equal to minus 2 and x equal to minus 4. That's it. So tell me now, wasn't that fast? Fast and really easy. Alright, so now I'll just explain you what I have just done. So here is the easy cal way of solving the cubic equations. You just need to know that this term plus 8 is the product of three numbers just like we had in quadratic equation the only difference is that that in quadratic equation this term was the product of two numbers whereas in cubic equation it is of three numbers as the cubic equation has the three roots so now I'm sure you can tell me what is this this is the sum or the difference of those three numbers now we just need to find three factors of eight whose sum or difference is 7. So the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Since in this cubic equation we only have plus signs, positive signs. Therefore we can concentrate on just the sum. So obviously the sum of 1, 2 and 4 is 7. That means these three are the factors. So to find the solution of this cubic equation you just have to change the signs of the factors that's it question solved the three solutions of this cubic equation are x equal to minus 1 x equal to minus 2 and x equal to minus 4 so tell me now wasn't that easy so solve this cubic equation now I'm really sure you can do it easily once again you're getting 10 seconds start Okay, so now I'll do it. Factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. Since here we have all the plus signs, therefore we need to select 3 factors out of these whose sum is 9. So obviously it can't be 15 as 15 itself is greater than 9. So that means these are the 3 factors, isn't it? 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 plus 5 is 9 so now we just have to change the signs so it becomes minus 1 minus 3 and minus 5 that's it question solved the three roots of this cubic equation are x equal to minus 1 x equal to minus 3 and x equal to minus 5 let's do another one your time starts now factors of 18 are 1, 2, 4, 
टू थ्री सिक्स नाइन एंड एटीन ना वंस अगैन सिंस दिस इक्वेशन हैज ऑल द प्लस साइंस दे फोर वी नीड टू सिलेक्ट थ्री फैक्टर्स आउट ऑफ दीज फैक्टर्स हु सम इज टेन सो ऑब्वियसली इट कैंट बी एटीन एज एटीन इट सेल्फ इज ग्रेटर देन टेन इट कैंट बी नाइन इधर एज वी कैंट एड टू मोर फैक्टर्स टू नाइन सो ना ओनली फोर फैक्टर्स आर लेफ्ट सिक्स प्लस थ्री इज नाइन एंड नाइन प्लस वन इज टेन so that means the three factors are 1 3 and 6 now just change the signs and you have solved this cubic equation see x equal to minus 1 x equal to minus 3 and x equal to minus 6 let me remind you that the cubic equations are supposed to be really difficult they are part of advanced mathematics just look at the size of that equation it looks like an anaconda <laughs> and you have solved it with so much ease this is what these easy cal tricks do they turn you instantly into a mad genius what would have otherwise taken months to learn you have mastered it in minutes by the way you can very quickly double check your answer as well all you have to do is put these values of x in this equation so if the left hand side comes out equal to the right hand side that is zero then the answer is 100% correct let's first put x equal to minus 1 so minus 1 cube is minus 1 only minus 1 square is 1 and 1 times 10 is 10 27 times minus 1 is minus 27 and this is plus 18 now 18 plus 10 is 28 And minus twenty seven minus one is minus twenty eight plus twenty eight minus twenty eight is zero. That means minus one is definitely the correct answer. So if you want, you can check the other two solutions as well. They are correct. So now please solve this cubic equation. Now as you can see that this one has some minus signs. So you just have to adjust the signs of the three factors accordingly. very simple so start so now i'll do it factors of 2 are 1 and 2 now as you can see that we only have two factors here and we need at least three factors so obviously one of these factors is going to get repeated since the sum or the difference of the three factors is 4 so definitely the factor 1 is going to get repeated isn't it 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus 2 is 4 we could not have repeated 2 as 2 plus 2 is itself 4 that leaves no room for the third factor now since the sum or the difference of these three factors should be minus 4 so that means we can adjust the signs this would be minus 1 this would also be minus 1 and this would be minus 2 as minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 and that takes care of the negative product as well see minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 and plus 1 times minus 2 is minus 2 that is a negative 2 so that means these are the three factors just change their signs and you get the three roots question solved if you want i can tell you a very cool trick to quickly double check your answer this way you'll never make a mistake all you have to do is 1 1 times is 1 1 two times is 2 and 2 1 times is again 2 so now 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 2 is 5 so that means these three are definitely the roots of this cubic equation
you must have realized by now that each and every coefficient and the constant term has a definite purpose like this one is the product of the three factors this one is the sum or the difference of three factors similarly this coefficient has been kept there so that we never make mistake in solving cubic equations as using this coefficient we can easily double check our answer so now that you have fully understood this wonderful technique so what I will do I will now teach you another technique to solve cubic equations you can keep that as backup like if you get stuck on some cubic equation perhaps because the last term of that cubic equation has too many factors and you're not able to adjust the signs then this technique that I'm going to teach you now will come in really handy it goes by the name trial and error technique of solving cubic equations so what I'll do I'll solve the same cubic equation by the trial and error technique and then you'll understand it better so in the trial and error technique what we do we try to guess one out of the three roots of the cubic equation and then we use that root to divide the cubic equation into a quadratic equation and then we can easily solve that quadratic equation and get the remaining two roots as well as simple as that now you must have observed the pattern that in every cubic equation one or minus one is always one of the roots isn't it and there's a good reason for that as you know that one is the factor of every number in this world therefore the chances of one or minus one being one of the roots of a cubic equation are very high so we always start by checking if x equal to one or minus one is one of the roots of a cubic equation in most of the cases it is otherwise you can check the next set of numbers like you can put x equal to 2 or minus 2 then 3 or minus 3 like that that means by hook or by crook we must get at least one root out of the three roots of the cubic equation so let's first check x equal to 1 1 cube is 1 minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 only plus 5 times 1 is plus 5 and this is minus 2 now minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 and plus 5 plus 1 is plus 6 so minus 6 plus 6 is 0 that means x equal to 1 is one of the roots now once you have one of the roots then immediately convert it to the algebraic factor of this cubic equation that means just bring this positive one here and it will become negative one so that means x minus 1 should be one of the algebraic factors of this cubic equation so now quickly divide with this factor this cubic equation and it will get reduced to a quadratic equation which you can easily solve and find the other two roots as well I'm sure you can divide them very easily as you already know the easy cal trick of fast algebraic division divide the first term with the first term and you will get the first term of the answer x cube divided by x is x square now in place of this minus 1 put plus 1 so this is 1x square minus 4x square would be minus 3x square so we put minus 3x here and we get the second term so once again this is minus 3x plus 5x that would be plus 2x so we put plus 2 here and we get the last term as well see so easily so now quickly solve this quadratic equation two factors of two whose sum or difference is three would be one and two isn't it one plus two is three now since their sum is negative therefore they must be negative and that takes care of the positive product as well see minus one times minus two is plus two and minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 so now all we have to do is just change the signs of these factors and with that we have not only solved this quadratic equation but we have got the remaining two roots of our cubic equation as well that means the three roots of this cubic equation are x equal to 1 x equal to another one 
and x equal to 2 and with the first method also we had got the same three roots I would like to give you one very useful tip that will help you calculate the cubic equations even faster like I had told you that the chances of 1 or minus 1 being the roots of a cubic equation are very high therefore we must always check them first the good news is that that you don't have to do it the old-fashioned way you can do it the easy cal way you just have to add the coefficients of the alternate terms 1 plus 14 is 15 now add these alternate term coefficients as well 7 plus 8 is also 15 so whenever the sum of the alternate terms is equal then one root out of the three has to be minus one you can find that out instantly let me give you more examples look at this cubic equation 1 plus 23 is 24 and 9 plus 15 is also 24 so you can instantly see that one root is minus 1 1 plus 5 is 6 and minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6 that means the sums are opposite and when that happens one root has to be 1 positive 1 you can instantly know that so now you have become an expert at solving cubic equations you know them inside out